Hey guys, I'm Peter. Today I'm going to show you how I customize a set of fins. So I always do this whenever I get a new set of fins. And this time I've got these from Blue Tech. Again, thanks Blue Tech. These cool free fins. And we're going to heat up the foot pockets and basically form them to our feet. But of course, when you're done, you're going to actually have a left and right foot pocket or left and right fin afterwards. I know it sounds like it might be a lot of extra work, but trust me, it's worth it. Imagine you're swimming for hours in the ocean and they just don't feel comfortable. That's going to suck. So we're going to go ahead and make these fit each feet ideally. All right. So, um, and you can tell on your feet that, you know, they're not even, you've got a little bit more, you know, bone structure here. So it rises up and this is flatter here. So when we're done, we're going to have the same feature in each foot pocket. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and slip on some, my uh, dive socks here so that I don't have to do that in the middle of the process. We're going to heat these guys up and that's going to take a little bit. I have a heat gun. You can do it with a hair dryer. Apparently I've never done it with a heat, uh, with a hair dryer, but I heard it's possible. And then we're going to cool. Once we've had this thing, did it correctly. We're going to go ahead and cool it off with some cold water and just a rag. And then from there, I'm going to mark it. And then we've got our left and right fin. So first thing I'm going to do again is uh, let me go ahead and put on some old dive socks. This is so that it um, makes your foot the same as when you're using them, right? Because that's what you want to do. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to slip on an extra set of socks to make my foot a little bigger. That's going to help in the pushing out process that we're going to do once we heat up the pockets and put our feet in it. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, good to go. Let's go ahead and heat this up. All right. And we're going to heat the whole area. The concentrating here where my big toe would be. And I'm just constantly moving this. This sucker is really hot, so you want to make sure you're moving it around. Now, depending how hot your heat gun can get and how close you get and how aggressive you are, it could take anywhere from five minutes to maybe eight minutes to heat these up. All right, let's put that down. Let's try it. Slip it on, same thing here. Pushing my foot in. All right, ooh, you can see it stretching right around here, All right? Luckily, our dive socks are insulated. <laughs> so I, I feel a little heat, but I'm fine, but yeah. This should make it work really well. Let's try that out. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't wait to try these. Okay, so now we can take our, uh, our ice water and cool it down. And so this is so we can set the foot pocket in its final shape. Wow. Still warm, crazy. So just apply some more cold water and you'll be done. And if you can see, got a different shape to it now. I should have showed you the before. See how this is taller there. Let's take off the extra sock and test it out. Oh yeah, oh, it feels so good. That feels good. These are perfect. Yep. I'll be able to be in these for hours and I won't have any discomfort. And that just means I'm more comfortable, which means I can relax, maybe have a longer breath hold. And when I'm kicking, there's not going to be pressure points there. So hopefully all that energy goes right to the fins in the water and propels me forward. So anyway, now you know how I customize a pair of uh, foot pockets. So give it a try and let me know how it turns out. 
I promise you won't regret it. And then the last thing I do is I use an alcohol wipe and clean the area where I plan to mark the fin, a left and a right, so that you can always know which is the right one to put on pretty quickly. And then that's it. A little bit of trouble, but trust me, it's worth it. All right, guys, time to test these fins out. <laughs> Let's go. We'll start off surface swimming, which is where you'll use these fins quite a bit to get to your spot. And they feel really comfortable. Not a lot of pressure in any particular spot. And then I go skimmy across the bottom of the pool to get some resistance and see how the fins feel there. And again, good comfort and good power. And now swimming mid column to get a really good feel of the power and efficiency of these fins. The pressure is even and smooth. I'm stoked, and time to wrap it up. All right. Well, these fins feel awesome. Really comfortable, super flexible, and I think it's gonna be great to use for the season.